What's up, Nerf community? Today, I'm gonna to be doing one of my very first Nerf videos. So as of some of you may know on my channel, I'm actually a huge fan of Nerf, but I've never really done any Nerf videos on this channel. So this is gonna be one of my first ones. So I'm just gonna give it a go, give it a try, see how it is, because I really like watching the Nerf community make videos about Nerf guns. So in this video, we're gonna be comparing Nerf sniper rifles to see which one is best. So the thing about Nerf snipers is that they're not always sniper rifles. See, because most Nerf guns, they are blasters, if I want to be correct by the community, um, they all shoot about the same, honestly, um, depending on the year you get them from anyway. Like anything from like 2012 to really modern day Nerf, like if it's a Nerf brand, it's going to shoot the exact same unless you get something like Rival or if you get a Dart Zone blaster. But anyways, I've got all my Nerf snipers here, and we're going to see which one performs the best. I think we already know the answer, though. <laughs> so for this little sniper competition here, we have the Elite 2.0 Eagle Point, which is probably the best blaster in the Elite 2.0 line. Um, Elite 2.0 was really a downgrade from Elite. It was supposed to be the successor to the Elite series, but ended up being just a complete and total downgrade. And Elite 2.0 pretty much sucks for the most part. Like, it's much worse than standard Elite. But, of all the Elite 2.0 blasters, I gotta say, this one is probably the best one. It's a kind of a light carbine style. Not technically a sniper, but I still consider it a sniper. It's still more of a carbine, though. Um, it's got a really nice scope on it. It's probably one of my favorite scopes um, from Nerf because it actually has a lens in it, unlike the other scopes that are basically just like a big, chunky piece of plastic and then you can barely see through. I mean, you can barely see through the scope, but I still like it better than most. Um, it's very lightweight. You can tell the plastic's definitely not the greatest. It definitely does feel cheaper, but um, it does come with a eight dart rotating cylinder. So it's basically just a, a buffed up strong arm. Probably my favorite thing about this is the priming action. I love bolt action Nerf blasters. Probably my favorite type of Nerf blasters just because I love the feel of it. But my favorite part of this, it has a spring retraction in it, so you don't have to like push back in it. And also, I really appreciate it that they did not put that annoying, crunchy sound that they do in a lot of the spring action Nerf blasters. You know, the one where it goes, <laughs> I hate that sound so much. So for the most part, I do like the Elite 2.0 Eagle Point. Also in this video, we have the Modulus Long Strike, which is probably one of my favorite Nerf blasters of all time. Not because of its performance. Its performance is not that great, but I love, I absolutely love this design. It looks like a sniper. I mean, when you look at this, first thing you see is a sniper. It's humongous. But if you think it's too big, just take the barrel off. And now you got another carbine. But I mean, I like to keep the barrel on just for the looks. I mean, when you got the barrel on, it kind of downgrades your performance, but I just like the looks of the barrel. But um, the only things I don't like about Long Strike are, for one thing, um, the performance is, you know, it's, it's basically just standard performance. It's not that great. Um, it's extremely expensive on Amazon. I think it's like $60 off Amazon. It's an Amazon exclusive, so. Um, also, another thing I don't like is that the barrel is extremely wobbly. See this? Like, it's very, it's very wobbly and annoying. I think it's just a problem with my Long Strike, too. Of all the other people's reviews I saw of this Long Strike, their barrels look just fine, but... This one, it wobbles a lot, and I do not like that. Um, and I also do not like the scope either. These I don't like these types of scopes. They're the most common type of Nerf scopes, but I don't like them because they just got that big, chunky piece of plastic in there. You can barely even see what you're aiming at. There's actually, there's actually usually two layers of plastic in there, but I cut the other one out because with that other layer in there, you just cannot see anything through the scope. So, I mean, the scope looks cool from... An aesthetic purpose but when you're actually using it it's just not good at all and uh, probably my least favorite thing about the long strike blaster and this is also something i absolutely despise about most spring action um nerf blasters and i just discussed it earlier but it's this i hate that sound i do not know what is with nerf's obsession and I, actually, it's a, it's a bunch of dart blaster companies that love to put that sound in the blasters. Like, I hate that <laughs> sound. It's so loud and irritating. 
I'm like, we know they can put it in there without it because they've done it with the eagle point and the long shot. But they just had to put it in the long strike for some reason. I don't think even the old long strike had that loud thing. I mean, this performs a lot better than the regular long strike. But still, I hate that sound. I wish Nerf would just not put that in there. But for the most part, I do love the long strike, mostly for its design purpose, but first performance wise, it's pretty standard. I mean, you can use it in a nerf battle if you want to, but um, I mean, it's, there's better options, of course, but it's mostly just for an aesthetic purpose. And next for our competition here, which is probably my favorite nerf blaster of all time, maybe. I still have not decided what my favorite nerf blaster is, but it's definitely on the top five. And it is the Rival Jupiter. I freaking love this thing. A lot of people don't like it, but I, I love this thing. Um, first off, it's got this amazing design to it. I love this design. It looks so nice. It is incredibly comfortable too. Like it's very lightweight. Like this is probably the, one of the lightest rival blasters you can get. It's got this amazing 10 round internal mag. So you don't have to worry about like a big bulky uh, stick mag sticking away out like all the other rival blasters have. Um, and probably my favorite part about this is that bolt action. I love this bolt action so much. It makes you feel like a real sniper because, you know, you've got to pull it back and push it down. I, I love that. I absolutely love that. Except for the sound it makes. It still has that awful crunchy sound. Why do you got to put this in all the blasters nerf? Please stop putting the crunchy priming sound. I hate that. Um, but it actually does come with a bipod. I just, I think I lost it. I have no idea what happened to it. And the stock here is made of like some kind of weird, like rubbery material, but it's not like, it's not like rubber. It feels like a combination of like plastic and rubber. It's like a material I've never felt before, but overall it is extremely comfortable. Like this is one of the most comfortable Nerf blasters you can buy. If it just wasn't for that priming, that, <laughs> that, that um, crunchy priming action, but I do love the bolt action feel of it. It does come with a uh, flip up sight too, but I don't use this because it is so much more accurate without any sights at all. I actually did try putting a real scope on here, but not only does the scope not fit on the rail, but also it just did not work for it at all. This blaster works a lot better without any sights at all. And for the last blaster in the competition, which is probably gonna win, let's be honest. It's the Dart Zone Max Striker. This is my favorite um, pro blaster on the market. Um, you can buy it for like $60 at Target, which is quite a bit, but for what you get, that's not terrible because this blaster can shoot up to like 140 FPS. It is extremely powerful. But as you can see here, I have um, externally modded it a little bit. I have equipped it with a real AR-15 stock, which you can put on there. Just take off the stock it comes with, get your AR stock, and slap it on there. And I also threw out the old scope it came with, because that scope it came with was terrible. And I put a real magnifying scope on there, and it works very, very well. Let me extend the stock a little bit. There we go. And... Yeah, this is a very nice blaster. It comes with this um, barrel extension right here, which actually does not um, mess up your performance like most of the Nerf blasters do. But, and also, it can, oh, I have it primed already. If you switch out this mag, this isn't the mag it came with. I put a six dart mag in there because it's a sniper rifle. You can put a short dart mag ad adapter in there because the short darts actually perform a lot better than the long darts. I just prefer using the long darts because I lose the short dart so much easier easier and I don't know, I just have more of the long darts. So yeah. This is probably gonna win, but you know what? Let's just look at our uh, let's look at our competition anyway. Okay, so my target is going to be that deodorant bottle right in the middle over there. So the first one we're gonna try is the eagle point. We're gonna stand all the way back here to the other side of the wall. Um I haven't really measured how far it is, but let's just see. You, you, can't, you won't be able to see me, so let's just see how good this performs. This. Oh, wow, that actually hit it. Okay, so the eco point is actually decently accurate. It's not terrible. And now to our next competitor, the Modulus Long Strike. Let's see how well it does. 
What? Ain't no way that actually hit. Ain't no way. Uh, I, I gotta try that again. There's, I think I just got lucky with that one. Oh, I hate that sound so much. Wow. Okay, so it's decently accurate. Not super powerful, but it is decently accurate. And on to our next competitor, my favorite, the rival Jupiter. Oh yeah. Man, that's a punch. What? Ow. There you go. Oh yeah. Oh, I love this thing. Yeah. And now into our final competitor, the Dart Zone Max Striker. It's gonna win. <laughs> <clears throat> What? Ain't no way. What? Come on, I have a real scope on here. There you go. All right, so you have to aim a little bit above with the scope. Like, you have to aim the crosshairs just a bit above the target. Oh, yeah. a few more, bit more targets here. Oh, my ears. Oh, that was, oh my God. This thing is extremely loud when you try to fire it. Oh, that was a bad sound. No, let's try the half dart, see if they're any more accurate. short mag adapter in there and we got our short dart mag loaded up these are more than likely going to outperform the long darts inevitably but i want to try them anyway oh yeah yep oh come on i was on a roll there seriously there you go. All right, so yeah, the short darts perform a lot better than the long darts, though I do like the long darts better. They definitely perform a lot better. And they are a lot louder too. But um, as far as the winner goes, it's gonna have to be the striker, as you probably may expect it. Then again, the Jupiter is really good too. You know what, I love all Nerf snipers, but this one is gonna be the winner. So if you wanna buy a good Nerf sniper, Get the Max Striker, get a real scope and a real stock for it, and you got yourself a really good sniper rifle in the Nerf. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I've never really done a Nerf video before. I'm, I'm hoping that I can like start this thing now where people will you know, watch my videos. But um, if you want to see any more Nerf videos from my channel, leave a comment, let me know, and like this video, and subscribe too.